Yo, Elliot. Hey, so we have a question here from our buddy Nathan, who, by the way, was 325 pounds and a 44 inch waist. And I guess over the past four months, it seems, he's been able to go down to 270 pounds, 16% body fat with 38 inch waist. He's happy with his progress, as he should be. That's like, that's like 50 pounds. 55 pounds, I think, there, dude. My math is horrible, but 55 pounds in, in four months, that's it's pretty extraordinary. That's awesome, and I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself, too. Says, I'm happy with my progress so far, but I've hit a plateau. I can't lose any more weight. I can't afford a gym membership. Um, the way he lost the weight, let me backtrack for a moment, was by walking, eating healthier and walking a lot, about 10 miles or more a day, feeling a lot better. So he can't afford a gym membership. The walking and the eating better is kind of stalling out on him, what does he need to do? Okay, cool. Here's one of the things, here's sort of a, a, an important key to remember no matter what it is you're trying to achieve because you can apply this to, uh, to business, you could apply it to your relationships, you could apply it to building muscle, you could apply it to building strength, you could apply it to losing fat. And it's, the, the idea was first shared with me through Brian Tracy uh, and he called it the winning edge. And he talks about how during a horse race, there, there may be two horses, you know, racing, and they go towards the, the, uh, the finish line. And then there's just one that nudges out just an inch, boom, and wins the prize. And it's just this much, I mean, it's that much between, you know, a $7 million pot and, you know, a $50,000 prize. Big difference. I mean, that's a, tr a gigantic chasm of success with a little fucking inch, just a tiny little thing. Oftentimes, when we find that we're we're not achieving our results or we're we're hitting a plateau, we're kind of stuck. It doesn't take a complete transformation of process. It literally might just take a nose, just a nose, just the winning edge. The winning edge. Why do you think they call it an edge? Because it's just a little bit. What's an edge? It's just a little fucking thing. Tiny little thing. A winning edge. So you can make tiny incremental changes to the thing that got you where you want to be to continue moving forward. Right? So a lot of times, it depends on who you talk to. I don't know. You know, People have different philosophies on, on training. I, I tend to think that training and life are, are one in the same. I think the principles are the same. And that's why I love talking to you guys this way with regard to, to fitness and strength because I know that when you learn these things and you apply these things in the gym and, and so on and so forth that you can carry them with you wherever you go. I look for the principles, guys. I don't look for tactics and strategies. I look for fucking principles. And this is a principle. This is a principle of incremental change for gigantic success. So enough of that. What are you going to do? You've been walking 10 miles a day, let's say, right? What I would invite you to do is start adding one single exercise to your walking now. Burpees. Burpees. If you don't know what a burpee is, I'll fucking demonstrate. I'm a lazy ass when I make these videos. But anyway, so here's a burpee. Right? And, and, and you crossfitters out there, if you want to correct me on my burpee form, fuck you. Here it is. You go down, you, you put your hands on the ground, right? And you kick your body out, right? Just kick your body out, keep your hips up. See me there? Boom. And then just stand up. You don't have to fucking jump or anything. You're 270 pounds and you're not like a linebacker. You don't have to fucking jump. You just hands on the ground, kick out, stand up. Looks easy, but at 270 pounds, especially if you're down from 325, and all you've been doing is walking, you add that little fucking, that stupid little ass movement right there, hands on the ground like you're, you know, you're crouched down, kick out into a push-up position, kick back in and stand up. Add 10 of those every half mile when you're walking now. That's it, that's it, don't change your diet. You know, granted that you're following sound principles, you're drinking enough water, doing all the right things. You don't need to go on the South Beach fucking diet. You don't need to go do Atkins. You don't need anything special. 
You don't have to you know, transform your approach. You don't need to start sprinting now. You don't need to go do CrossFit. You don't need to go do insanity. You don't need to go do P90X. You don't need to fucking revolutionize anything. You're still getting decent results and you're still quite a, a distance away from your ultimate goal. Here's another idea that was shared with me with, uh, by my friend Rusty Moore. He talks about walking to the starting line. You don't want to bust your shit up doing insanity right now when the starting line, like you're, you're sprint, when they say starting line, it means now you're sprinting. Now you're really, like you're in, you're, you can taste the goal. You want to walk up to that. You don't want to be burnt out right before you're about to taste the fucking goal. Because you know what happens when you do that? A lot of people do that. They burn themselves out right until they're this close to getting the result. And because they don't have any energy and because they have pulled out all the fucking stops until that point, there's nothing to do. There's nothing left. Right? What are you going to do? You're going to work out three times a day? You know, that's, that's what ends up happening to a lot of people. They stop getting results because they, they sprinted to the starting line. You want to walk to the starting line by doing the least amount of work possible to get the best result possible. Right? There's a, there's a term for that. Um, can't remember it. But anyway. So that's it, dude. Just add those burpees. I'm not gonna give you any scientific reason why, right? Somebody says Elliot doesn't think scientifically. I don't have to fucking think scientifically. You do the thing. Do it and then you tell me. You do your own research. Do the fucking burpees, right? Give it, give it, give it three weeks. Do the fucking burpees and I guarantee you, right? I don't know why. I could, I could propound about why. I can tell you why. I can draw graphs on the board like I used to. It really doesn't fucking matter. Just do the thing. I'm sick and tired of talking about what should be or philosophize or, 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 you know, approach these things from a very abstract place. Experience, folks. Go and fucking do the thing. So that's it. I don't know. I'm in a weird ranting mood right now because I just did that other video. I was shaking and shit. Burpees every half mile. Keep doing what you're doing. Walk to the starting line and sprint your ass when you get close. Done. Yo, Elliot.